everybody, this is Matt and we're at Texas Toast Guitars. Thanks for watching. In the last video, uh, I had a bunch of questions about stuff and I thought it would be easier to just do a new video rather than answer everybody's question uh, individually. The first question, or the first comment, I should say, that I got a lot was, boy, it's really echoey in the new shop. You should get a bunch of sound deadening stuff. And um, you know, the difference between Texas Toast Guitars and some other famous YouTube guitar builders is that we're an actual working shop. We're not a sound studio that's supposed to look like a shop. We're the real deal. So shops are noisy, shops are, are dusty, shops aren't clean, there's not, you know, there's a mess usually everywhere. Don't trust anybody whose shop is clean because it's probably a studio and not a real shop. <laughs> so, so anyway, that's enough of that. Um, uh, there was a bunch of questions about what you do with the truss rod slot and uh, how to keep glue off of the truss rod. So I thought we would deep dive into that and give you guys a look. I've got a couple of these necks that uh, have to get done for a couple of these cool Challenger prototypes that we're working on. And um, I've got one fretboard that's ready to glue up for this neck. And uh, the other neck, Chris is making a wowie zowie fretboard for, so I'm not able to do that. But we can go ahead and jump in and I can show you guys how we do it. And uh, hopefully this will answer all your questions. Okay, so here is the neck that we're gonna be working with today. Here is the truss rod that we're going to be using. And here is the fretboard that we're gonna be using. Now, as you guys can see, I already have drilled for my, um, my indexing pins, which of course are super awesome bits of tone wood that I had custom made by a, a special tone wood pin builder. Uh-oh. Okay, and you just kind of put them, put them in the holes here. Hold on, I gotta get another one. Okay, and I like to put them so that the, uh, the tips of the toothpicks the pointy parts are sticking out. That way, it makes it easy -er, to find the, um, come on now, I said it makes it easier, there we go. Okay, and that's how we index that on there. But a lot of you guys have been asking, well, what do you do to keep glue off of, off of the truss rod? A um, Couple of things about that, that video before. Um, that neck was actually already had a fretboard on it and I was replacing the fretboard. So it already had some, some wood that was covering up the, um, uh, the truss rod. So I like to just take some half inch tape and, uh, and position it onto my, um, onto my neck blank. Now you'll notice I didn't mash a bunch of silicone under the rod or anywhere like that. I do, however, like to leave a little gap right here and uh, fill that with wood glue to keep the rod from wiggling around. I think that is the best way. I tried it with the, um, um, with the silicone before and I wasn't a big fan. Plus, I don't like to introduce silicone to, to guitar builds. So anyway. Um, so I've, I've, got, uh, I've got my truss rod installed, I've got a piece of half inch tape here, and I've got my, uh, my indexing pins, which of course are just toothpicks, no matter what I tell you. Um, and I've got some, some tape over it, and I've left a little, a little tail here, so when the glue is on, and right before, right before I put the fretboard on, I can yank the, the tape off, and, uh, because I don't like to leave the tape on there. All right. All right, so we're just gonna smear some glue on here. How much glue do you need, Matt? Well, you need enough. And you don't want too much. How's that? Like these silicone brushes, because I keep them in some water, and um, it just makes life easy. I really like to mash a bunch of glue into that, the end of the truss rod slot there. Keeps it from, from wiggling around, okay. 
Make sure I get glue all the way to the edge and go back a couple times because the glue wants to pull back after you, um, after you, you put it to the edge. Okay. Now I like to put this piece of tape covered with glue in a spot where Chris will bump into it because that's a fun game that he and I play. All right, let's put this guy down and gently press down until the board sticks. And we come over here with this little flush cut saw. Okay, don't put your hand where mine is because it's very easy to flick yourself with this super sharp saw. But for the sake of, of the film, the filming, the camera, all right. So let's take a look. It looks like we've got nice squeeze out all the way around. Let's see, I've got some clamping calls here. And I like these squeeze clamps because they're fast. All right, that looks pretty good, y'all. Now we can take our machinist square if you want and clean up some of this glue. It's not a bad idea. Because remember, we're going to be using the neck as its own template to, um, for the router. We're gonna buzz this excess fretboard off just like we did in the last video. Okay, so the more of this we can get off now, the less it's gonna be in the way. Okay guys, so there you have it. I hope that answers all of your questions about uh, how you keep glue off the truss rod. Now, keep in mind, glue is gonna get in there, and that's okay. It's still gonna, uh, it's still gonna move, and it's still gonna do everything that the truss rod needs to do in both directions. Um, that's the beauty of using uh, uh, these these truss rods that we get from Bitterroot Guitars. Um, they work really, really well, and they can be, they can have some glue on there. Don't sweat that. Um, if you guys would like to get some hands-on kind of kind of training on this, uh, you should consider coming to one of the Texas Toast Build Your Own Guitars. We've got a bunch of classes coming up uh, next year, so you can plan way out in, in advance. Um, and uh, Build a Classic Set Neck is going to be uh, where you can learn to do this. But we're also adding another class called Build a Classic Bolt On, which is an all woodworking uh, component, and uh, it's all the same stuff that we're going to be doing or it's all the same stuff that we do in our Build a Classic set neck, except we do mostly Fender style stuff. So if you want to get in on that, that's a great class coming up in 2022. Okay guys, let's wrap this one up. If you like the video, give me the thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, why don't you hit that subscribe button? It's absolutely free. If you feel like paying a little bit of money and you appreciate the kind of stuff that we do here, you might want to think about going over to our Patreon page and consider becoming a member because this kind of stuff is, uh, is all made possible by our Patreon members. So thank you, thank you, thank you to all of our Patreon members who, uh, who know the kind of stuff that we do and dig the kind of stuff that we do. Um, check out Patreon, links in the description below. Uh, if you have any questions, leave those in the, in the comment section. I'd be happy to answer them and who knows, maybe I'll even do another video. So until then, this is Matt at Texas Toast reminding you that if you're so smart, start your own YouTube channel. That's what I did. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.